हेलो एवरीवन, आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैक्स क्लास दिस इज सेकेंड क्लास इन अप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरेवेटिव इन लास्ट क्लास वी लैंड वॉट इज रेट मेजर एंड वी डिड वी डिड सेवन प्रॉब्लम इन रेट मेजर ऑल सेवन प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू सर्किल इन दिस क्लास वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू लैंड इन दिस क्लास वील क्विकली रिवाइज वॉट इज सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ ए क्यूब फॉर्मुला वॉट इज वॉल्यूम ऑफ ए क्यूब फॉर्मुला and we'll do three problems related to cube you observe these are the three problems i am going to do in today's class you observe the volume of a cube is increasing this problem is related to cube and you observe this one the edge of a variable cube is increasing this problem is uh, related to cube right and you observe this one the volume of a cube is increasing by seeing these three questions easily you can identify that these problems are related to cube the rate measure is very easy if we do all the problems diagram wise in first class we did problems from rate measure which are related to circle diagram in second class we are going to do problems related to cube in rate measure before going to start this video please drop a like for this video without much delay let's begin the class to understand the problems in today's class you must know about cube you observe the diagram of this cube in three dimensional geometry in a cube all sides will be of same length they are all of same length okay here what you need to know in this class if x is the side of a cube s is surface area of a cube v is volume of the cube then to calculate surface area the formula is 6x square If you observe this diagram, in this diagram, total six faces will be there. As a cube means each side is of length x na, so this length is x, this length is also x. X into x is x square. So this area is x square. Like that, total six faces are there na. That's why total surface area is six x square. And to calculate volume of a cube, the formula is x cube. to do the problems related to cube you must know these formulas surface area of a cube is 6x square volume of a cube is x cube you must be good in these formulas in last class we learned about rate measure you see till now we know that dy by dx means derivative of y with respect to x in this particular exercise dy by dx is taken as rate of change of y with respect to x dy by dx means rate of change of y with respect to x you look here dv by dt what it mean dv by dt means rate of change in v with respect to t what is da by dr da by dr means rate of change in a with respect to r you observe this question the volume of a cube first thing you can identify that this problem is related to cube okay the volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of 8 cm cube per second how fast is the surface area increasing when length of edge is 12 cm before understanding this question you can observe first thing is this is problem related to cube and in this volume is there surface area is there and edge is there so i'll mention what are these three things in a cube so let's write the first step of this solution you observe what are the things i considered x yes v what is x x is side of a cube what is s s is surface area of a cube what is v v is volume of a cube now i'll write the given information you observe the question volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of 8 cm cube per second here they given cm cube per second from this we can say that this is rate of change of volume however in the question they given directly they given that dv by dt 8 cm cube per second from this we can understand that dv by dt is given that is 8 cm cube per second now if you observe further how fast the surface area is increasing that means they are asking ds by dt how fast surface area is increasing as s is the surface area we need to calculate ds by dt when the length of an edge is 12 cm that means i need to calculate ds by dt when x equal to 12 cm i hope you are understanding so first step of this problem i written what is x what is s what is v and then i written the given data and then i written what is to be calculated in this problem to calculate ds by dt first we need to calculate dx by dt 
For that purpose, to proceed further, I will consider volume of a cube. We know that volume of a cube formula is x cube. In the question, they given what is dv by dt. As we know dv by dt, I will differentiate this with respect to t on both sides. You look here, I just written d by dt to this equation on both sides. That means I am differentiating with respect to t. d by dt of v is what? That is dv by dt. dv by dt equal to derivative of x cube is 3x square. As the given function is in terms of x, we are differentiating with respect to t. As these two are different, I need to write dx by dt. You can observe in the question, they given dv by dt. dv by dt is 8. So, in this equation, in place of dv by dt, I will write 8. 8 equal to 3x square into dx by dt. From this, what is dx by dt? dx by dt equal to 8 divided by 3x square. You take it as equation 1. I will use this equation 1 while calculating ds by dt. Actually, I want to calculate ds by dt. Rate of change in surface area. So, now I will take surface area formula to calculate ds by dt. We know the formula for surface area of a cube. The surface area of a cube formula is s equal to 6x square. What I want to calculate? I want to calculate ds by dt. To calculate ds by dt, I will differentiate this equation with respect to t on both sides. Now, look here, d by dt of s is what? That is ds by dt. Okay, ds by dt equal to here, 6 is constant, take it outside, derivative of x square, we know that derivative of x square is 2x, into, as this function is in terms of x, we are differentiating with respect to t, as these two are different, we will write dx by dt. Now, actually, what is to be calculated? We need to calculate ds by dt at x equal to 12, okay? I need to calculate ds by dt at x equal to 12. So, in this, wherever x is there, there I will write 12. So, what you will get? 6 into 2 into 12 into dx by dt. You observe here, we got that dx by dt is 8 divided by 3x square. As they given dv by dt, from that we got that dx by dt is 8 divided by 3x square. So, in this, in place of dx by dt, I will write this 8 divided by 3x square. Actually, we are calculating ds by dt at x equal to 12 now. So, in this, in place of x, I will write 12. So here x square is there, in place of x square, I'll write 12 square. You observe this, 6 into 2 is 12, 12 into 12 is 144, this is 144. We know that 12 square is 144, so I can cancel these two, you just cancel, cancel these two, okay. So what you will get, you will get 8 divided by 3, okay. I got 8 divided by 3. What I got, I got ds by dt at x equal to 12 as 8 divided by 3. See, this is surface area. Na. What are the units for surface area? Centimeter square, right? Centimeter square per, you look here, t with respect to t, that means time. Centimeter square per second. Therefore, what they are asking in the question, ds by dt when x equal to 12. What I got, it is 8 by 3 centimeter square per second. See, these problems are very easy. Only the thing is, you need to know that the problem is related to which diagram? And you need to know the formulas related to that diagram and it is important you need to identify what is the given information, what is to be calculated. You observe this question, the edge of a variable cube. By seeing this question easily we can identify that this problem is related to cube. Okay, the edge of a variable cube is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second. How fast volume of the cube is increasing when the edge is 10 cm long? Before going to understand this question, you observe in this edge is there and volume is there and in this there is no surface area. So first I will write first step of the solution. As they given edge and volume of a cube, I take in x is the side of a cube and v is the volume of a cube respectively. That means x is side of the cube and v is the volume of a cube. Now we will try to understand what is the given information. You observe this one. 3 centimeter per second, centimeter per second, here two things are there, one is edge, another one is volume. As they given centimeter per second, this is dx by dt, you need to understand this point. If they given here centimeter cube per second, then we can understand that this is dv by dt. 
I hope you are understanding. However, in this question, direct information is there. Edge of variable cube is increasing at the rate of 3 cm per second. That means what they given? They given dx by dt. dx by dt. What is dx by dt? dx by dt is 3 cm per second. Okay. See here one more point. Centimeter per second is there. Na? That's why dx by dt. Okay. And further, how fast is the volume of cube is increasing? How fast is the volume of a cube is increasing? That means they are asking you to calculate dv by dt when, when the edge is 10 centimeters long. That means when x equal to 10. I hope you are understanding. So first I written first step of this problem. I taken x is the edge of a cube, v is the volume of a cube and I written the given data and I written what is to be calculated. To proceed further in this problem, I'll take volume of a cube formula because I need to calculate dv by dt. What is volume of a cube formula? We know that volume of a cube is v equal to x cube. As I need to calculate dv by dt, I'll differentiate this equation with respect to t on both sides. You observe here to this equation, I differentiated with respect to t on both sides. Now you differentiate this with respect to t, then what you will get? You will get that dv by dt equal to derivative of x cube derivative of x cube is 3x square into as this is in terms of x we are differentiating with respect to t we need to write dx by dt actually what i want to calculate i want to calculate dv by dt when x equal to 10 here i already got dv by dt now what i'll do in this i'll put x equal to 10 so i'll calculate dv by dt when x equal to 10 Okay, that equal to, so at x equal to 10 means in this wherever x is there, there you write 10. So 3 into 10 square into, you look here, dx by dt, this information already given in the question. What is dx by dt? dx by dt is 3. So in place of dx by dt, in place of dx by dt, I just written 3. Now, if I simplify this, what I'll get? 3 into 3 is 9, 9 into 10 square, 100, 9 into 100 is 900. So what I got here, I got answer 900. What I calculated dv by dt, rate of change in volume. Na, what are the units you will get here? Rate of change of volume, na, that is, that's why it is centimeter cube per, with respect to t time, that means centimeter cube per second. I hope you understand solution for this problem. Now we'll move to next problem. You observe this problem. The volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of nine cubic centimeter per second. Here I understand that this problem is related to cube. Okay. How fast the surface area increasing when the length of an edge is 10 centimeters? If you observe this question, in this question volume is there, in this question surface area is there and in this question edge is also there. So I'll write the first step of this question. You observe first step of this question. I take an x, s, v. What is x? x is side of a cube. What is s? Yes? s yes is surface area of a cube. What is v? v is the volume of a cube. Now I'll write given data. You observe here what they given. The volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of 9 cubic centimeter per second. Here you see here cubic centimeters they given. Cubic centimeters they given means that will be volume only. However, in this question directly they given the volume of a cube is increasing at the rate of 9 cubic centimeter per second. That means what is this? This is dv by dt. They given that dv by dt equal to 9 cubic centimeters per second. Now what they are asking? How fast surface area is increasing? I taken yes is the surface area. Na? How fast surface area is increasing? That means they are asking to calculate ds by dt. Okay, I'll write here ds by dt. When, uh, look here, when edge is 10 centimeters, they are asking to calculate ds by dt when edge is 10 centimeters. That means they are asking to calculate ds by dt at x equal to 10. So, first step of this problem I written, I taken x is the side, s is the surface area, v is the volume and I written the given data. By understanding the question, I written what is to be calculated. Now, to do this problem further, I need dx by dt. So what I'll do here, as they given dv by dt, I'll take volume of a cube and I'll proceed. What is the formula for volume of a cube? The formula for volume of a cube is v equal to x cube. As they given dv by dt, to use this, I'll differentiate this with respect to t on both sides. d by dt of v equal to d by dt of x cube. I'm just differentiating with respect to t on both sides. d by dt of v is dv by dt. 
dv by dt equal to derivative of x cube is 3x square into as I am differentiating with respect to t given function is in terms of x I need to write dx by dt into dx by dt. In the question they are given dv by dt equal to 9. So in this in place of dv by dt I will write 9. 9 equal to 3x square into dx by dt. You can observe here this 3 in this 9 3 times will get cancelled. From this what is dx by dt? dx by dt equal to 3 divided by x square. You take this x square to this side. dx by dt is 3 divided by x square. I will use this while calculating ds by dt. You observe in the question they are asking ds by dt now. To calculate ds by dt now I will take surface area of a cube. What is surface area of a cube? We know that surface area of a cube formula is 6x square. As I want to calculate ds by dt, I will differentiate this equation with respect to t on both sides. You just differentiate with respect to t on both sides d by dt of s equal to d by dt of 6x square. d by dt of s is nothing but ds by dt equal to here 6 is constant now you take it outside derivative of x square is 2x into as given function is in terms of x we are differentiating with respect to t as these two are different I need to write dx by dt all these things we learn in chain rule differentiation. Now what I want to calculate ds by dt when look here ds by dt when x equal to 10. So I will calculate ds by dt when x equal to 10 equal to 6 into 2 into what is x in this what is x in place of x you write 10 10 into dx by dt you can see here we got equation 1 from equation 1 we got dx by dt what is dx by dt dx by dt is 3 divided by x square so that is 3 divided by x square as i am doing ds by dt at x equal to 10 in place of x i can write 10 so 10 square you write so this is 10 square now you can observe this 110 will get cancelled. So what you will get 6 2 sir 12, 12 3 sir 36. You will get 36 by 10. This is 36 divided by 10 which is same as 3.6 right. So what you got here you got that ds by dt when x equal to 10. What are the units for this? This is surface area now. Surface area units are square units. So this is centimeter square per ds by dt with respect to t we are doing now. so centimeter square per second so they are asking to calculate ds by dt at x equal to 10 we got that as 3.6 centimeter square per second i hope you understand this problem if you watch this video till the end don't forget to drop a like for the video right that gives me more energy to create many videos in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.